be here. Is it gonna pop up? That was our order, man. Scary clown. Do you want to see his horrible face? It's that sore, isn't it? Tonight, we want to play a game. <laughs> Little things are more fun, are they? <laughs> Surprise Alex. Surprise Alex when he emerges from his shed in one hour. Your time starts now. Could I move the shed? Oh, that was what this is a metaphor for, like, it's a surprise. How far away do his family live? Go and kidnap his children from school. <laughs> <laughs> he comes out the shed and there they are. That would surprise him, wouldn't it? <laughs> Are his kids in school? What if he kidnapped his kids? <laughs> they tied them to a chair the shed. I mean, that would surprise him! The first thing we should address is Alan Sarah. I would argue if Alex came out of his shed and his children were just there, <laughs> that would be quite a surprise. <laughs> and yet both of you wanted to take them against their will. <laughs> Didn't you suggest tying them up as well, Phil? Because <laughs> like, kids wiggle around. <laughs> you have to keep them in their place. Do you know who I want to see first? Yes, I do. Paul Chowdhury. <laughs> yeah. We can do that. Let's see how Paul's mind works. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I feel like there's something... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's horrible. Blood on the thing. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's horrendous. Brown clown. Brown clown? That's what you called. <laughs> well, thank you for that, brown clown. <laughs> very scary. Very good. Very good. That's Paul <laughs> debuting his new children's character. <laughs> Brown clown. <laughs> <laughs> Given that Alex had sort of set the task and we put a clown in a box. <laughs> like a human one, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, I knew that was you. <laughs> you weren't going to get a brown clown in that small box, so I thought if I did the real thing, we well, were pretty surprised, didn't it? I mean, I, I was quite surprised. So I'd been in there for an hour, this is what I do. I go in there, I do my secretarial duties. I knitted, yeah. that occasion, I knitted you some little booties. Oh, fuck <laughs> us. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of them. They're nice. Yeah. Thank you. And I came out and I saw the box, and I was surprised to see the box, but I did think there's probably a clown in the box. Yeah. <laughs> if it was a surpriso meter, how high would it have gone? It's a massive if. Um... <laughs> Big if, isn't it? Yeah. Hey? About that about high. About that high. I want to know how long you were in the box hiding as the brown clown for? About 45 minutes. About 45 minutes. <laughs> <sorry. laughs> Do you want to move on to Sarah? I mean, honestly, <laughs> I want to stay here all the time. <laughs> oh, I love you, Paul. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's move on to Sarah. OK. I mean, presumably someone's going to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone did. Let's have a look. I guess I should be concerned. You all right, Joel? <laughs> what do you do, you tickle them? <laughs> Shall I untie you? Can you hear me? <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> when I, um... When I set the task, mm. and after you'd all completed them, I, I don't get many details, but I did ask Alex which ones he thought were surprising, and he said, and this is a direct quote, he said, for a, the smallest part of a second, I did think maybe Sarah had killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how competitive I am. Never do a surprise birthday party, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> for the kids. For the tea and cake. Oh, it's the head of a rabbit. <laughs> What about the surprise meter I mean, I don't quite know what shape the surprise meter is. It's the surprise meter Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, I guess on the surprise meter it's about the same as the clown. OK. It was a valiant and disturbing effort. Who's next? Al's. Okay, yeah. So look at Al's. Here is Al Murray's attempt.
That's really surprising. The gong. I mean, that's a. But this. That's. I mean, you've the. Not seen it before. Lovely physique, but that. Look at that. I mean, the the dong and the gong. <laughs> How many horns? Four. Yeah. You're a four horn surprise. <laughs> We didn't provide that gong for Al. No, Al has a slight advantage of living near the Taskmaster house, so we could source a gong within an hour. I played drums on the side, and I knew that there's a there's a gong rental place <laughs> <laughs> up the road. Al, I thought it was phenomenal and awful. Okay. Surprise a meter. It was. It, I mean, genuinely, it was the most surprising because it was it was deafening and uh, yeah, most surprising so far. Mr. Dave Gorman. Ah, here we go. Is there a Gorman? Oh, oh, is there a two-part, is it? Oh, OK. I like this. OK. It says, Dear Alex, please press the blue button. Wow! Oh! <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> Why has he got that there? <laughs> is he actually naked? I said boxers and he, he misunderstood. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best <laughs> Very nice. My first question is, um, how come you get to keep your clothes on and the camera crew don't? I make the rules. It's my, <laughs> it's my go. And also, I'm going to surprise him by not being there. So the idea of surprising him by not being there but being naked <laughs> doesn't really stack up. You, Checks out. You're buying that? I'm buying that. He did also buy them. You paid them a certain amount of money to take the clothes off. <laughs> yeah, I... Uh... <laughs> is that right? <laughs> I, I, it's about 200 quid, I think. It was... It was... Between them, between them. Between yeah. them. <laughs> I don't know how they divvied it up, but there was two different people. Is that like table. rent and prostitution? <laughs> um, were you surprised? Yeah, I mean, the surprise was over a longer period of time, so it wasn't as immediate as the air horns. Right. Or the dead body. <laughs> and then we have the clown. So, um. <laughs> I was, I was surprised. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's see how Rob did. Let's okay. see if he was surprising. Alex, you've been a bad boy. Quite surprising, yeah. <laughs> Quite surprising. Thank you, Rob. Sorry. Thank you for that. I'm sorry, you're right. Are you wet. <laughs> well, I mean, incredible, right? Mm. <laughs> he was reasonably caring. After he did it, he said, "Are you wet?" Which is nice. <laughs> when you were cackling, dressed as a nan on that yeah. sofa. <laughs> I, all, I thought I saw your teeth visibly growing. You were so pleased. <laughs> <laughs> they do when I get really excited. <laughs> I mean, it's just mad. Where did the nan thing come from? Uh, like, basically, when we were filming that, like, I'd had a kid the week before and I'd about ten hours sleep and I think I'd gone mad. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was at like, the beginning of a breakdown. We've got our winner. There he is. Instinct tells me, possibly, number two, is that all those, all those hours down the gym have paid off for Al Murray. It mate. was the barrage on the senses in general that was impressive. So it was the wet and then it was the noise. Yeah. How up. many air horns? Four. Four. Yeah. <laughs> Second place, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Let's, let's not say Paul's definitely last, but I'll, I'll pop Clown in just for now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Dave ahead of Sarah purely because he used bribery, nakedness, there's a hint of sexual exploitation in there. <laughs> uh, and then he jumped out of a bush and said boo. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, done. There it is, it's done, ladies okay. and gentlemen. <laughs> for more Taskmaster, subscribe now.